does. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines... Grossenberg Implement wants you to get a jump on next year's summer haying season by offering... ...our sections and knives. Your win row...
One, two. Okay, now I can hear it in my ear. Now I can hear it in my ear. There. Okay, good. They can always turn it down. All right, so we're set to start the JV game between the Lee Deadwood Gold Diggers and the Custer Wildcats. Both teams have taken the floor. The referees are checking the lineups and will be starting in one second. The Lee Deadwood Gold Diggers are wearing their pink jerseys for pink night here at the volleyball game. Custer in the purple and black. <coughs> Custer will be serving to start the JV match. Custer took the C game, 3-2, went the earth, 2-1, went the full three games. As the serve by the Gold Diggers drops in and the lead Deadwood Gold Diggers lead it one to nothing. Number 14, Jersey Arts is checking into the game and for number six, Addie Eastman. And number seven, Ava Bertrand with the serve. Custer sets it up. Ivy Hayes hits it. Bertrand over to Hannah Hansen who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up the neck. It deflects off number three as he barnfeed and drops for a point. And we are tied one to one. For Custer, number 16, Lincoln Robb is checking in. And Caitlin Nelson checking out for Custer. There's the serve. Jersey Arts with a dig. Bertrand hits it. He had a Hanson can't return it. It'll drop for a point, and the Custer Wildcats lead it two to one. Number 16, Lincoln Todd set for another serve for the Wildcats. Rob with a serve. Cece Percy gets the dig. Bertrand sets it up for Hannah Hansen. The Wildcats return it, and uh, they are going to call over the net on the Custer Wildcats. So the Gold Diggers get the point on the foul, and Izzy Bertrand will be serving for the Gold Diggers. Barnfield with the serve. Barnfield gets it. Bertrand sets it up for Hannah Hansen, but she can't get it over the net. It'll drop for a point, and the Custer Wildcats take a 3-2 lead. Number 21, Carlene Gannell with the serve for Custer. Gannell with a serve. Cece Percy gets the dig. Bertrand sets it for Jersey Arts, who returns it. Wildcats return it, and that one is going to drop inbounds. It's called in. Wildcats lead it 4-2. to two. We're in the first set of the JV game. Wildcats took the C game. Two sets, or two games to one. And we're in the next set. Here's the serve. That'll be ruled out of bounds. The Gold Diggers get the point, it's four to three, and Hannah Hansen is set to serve. Hansen gets it over. Wildcats return it. Cece Percy to Ava Bertrand. Jersey Arts gets it over for the Gold Diggers. They set it up again, and Lee Deadwood can't return it. Bertrand hits it, but Ivy Hayes can't quite get it over the net, and we've got a couple substitutions for Custer. Number 14, Jada Bennett, and uh, number 11, checking into the game. We don't have an 11 on the roster for the JV, and they have a couple of them on the C team. So I don't know who that is. The serve is going to be in, an ace for the Custer Wildcats, and they lead it 6-3. to three. And the Gold Diggers, once again, can't return it. Seven to three, Custer. 
Number 14, Jada Bennett still has the serve for the Wildcats. Bennett gets it over, Jersey Arts. Bertrand sets it up for CeCe Percy who returns it for the Gold Diggers. And Custer sets one up for Rylan Lowe. Percy with a diving save. Ivy Hayes gets it over. And the Wildcats will return it. Percy, Ava Bertrand sets it for Jersey Arts. Her shot, too long. It goes out of bounds, and the Wildcats take an 8-3 lead here in the first set. The serve by Jada Bennett gets over. Percy sets it up for Briley Hughes, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. And the return by Custer goes out of bounds. It's ruled out of bounds. Gold Diggers get the point, and it's now 8-4. Jersey Arts has the serve for Lee Deadwood. Arts gets it over. A couple Wildcats go after it, but they're able to save it. Percy Bertrand sets it up for Briley Hughes. And Custer tries to return it. Kira Nelson with a swing and a miss. And 8 to 5. Point for the Gold Diggers. Arts with another serve. And she gets it over. Custer will set one up for Rylan Low. Diving attempt by Arts, but it's going to be ruled to have hit the floor. So the Wildcats get the point. It's now 9 to 5. Number 6, Addie Eastman checks in for the Gold Diggers. Number 8 is serving for the Wildcats, and we do not have an 8 on the roster. Actually, that's number nine, Rylan Lowe. Shot by the Gold Diggers goes out of bounds. Point for Custer. It's now 10 to 5. So Rylan Lowe with another serve for Custer. Sydney Percy with a diving stop. Percy gets it over for a return. Eastman sets it up for Ivy Hayes. Her shot out of bounds. Another point for the Custer Wildcats who lead it 10 to 5 after a pretty good volley there. Another serve for number 9, Rylan Lowe. Lowe's serve out of bounds. Point for the Gold Diggers. It's now 11 to 6. And it'll be CeCe Percy serving for the Gold Diggers. And the serve by Percy. Custer sets one up and returns it. Bertrand to Ivy Hayes, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Eastman to Bertrand, who gets it back in, and then Eastman returns it over the net for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets up another one. That goes off CC Percy, out of bounds. Abby, Abby Eastman trying to get it. Can't quite get there. 12 to 6. And uh, number 5 is now serving for Custer. CeCe Percy to Izzy Barnfiend. Ivy Hayes returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up. That one goes out of bounds. Into the Gold Digger student section. Hayes will have the serve for Lee Deadwood. Wildcats return the serve. Hayes to Addie Eastman. Bertrand returns it over the net. Custer can't return it. Off two front line defenders and down. 12 to 8. And Hayes will have another serve for Lee Deadwood. That one goes into the net. The Wildcats get the point to make it 13 to 8. And we have a couple substitutions. Number 35, River Bailey. And uh, number 7 coming into the game for Custer. Yeah. 
And the Gold Diggers get the point. Bertrand with the kill. It's now 13 to nine, and Bertrand will have the serve. First, we do have a substitution. Jersey Arts checks into the game for the Gold Diggers. The serve by Bertrand hits the top of the net. Can't quite go over. Wildcats get the point. And uh, number 16, Lincoln Robb is checking into the game for Custer and she'll have the serve. Custer with a 13 to nine lead here in the first set. Lincoln Robb gets the serve over the net and it's an ace. Sliding attempt by Jersey Arts. Another serve by Rob, Cersei Percy with a dig. Ivy Hayes sets it for Jersey Arts. She gets it over and the Wildcats return it. Percy to Bertrand, sets it up for Jersey Arts. The Wildcats with another return. Nice attempt there by number seven, Ava Bertrand, but it does not go over the net. So it's now 14 to nine Custer. Lincoln Robb with a serve just over the net. Diving attempt by Ivy Hayes, but it will drop 15 to nine Wildcats in the first set. <coughs> Another serve by Lincoln Robb goes over the net. Jersey Arts gets it to Ava Bertrand who scores a double hit by number nine, Rylan Lowe. Tried to return it, hit it twice. Gold Diggers back to within eight. It's now 17 to nine and Izzy Barnfeen has the serve. Barnfeen gets it over. Wildcats will set one up for low. Bertrand sets it for Hannah Hansen who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer will set one up. Barnfeen gets it in the air. Gold Diggers can't return after the set. It's now 18 to 10. Custer with the lead. And number 21, Carlene Gannell serving for the Wildcats. Gannell gets it over the net. Ivy Hayes with a dig. Bertrand sets it for Jersey Arts. Returns it, but it's in the net. 19 to 10. We've got a substitution for the Gold Diggers. Number 10, Tessa Jenkins is checking into the game. And here comes the serve by Gannell. Cece Percy gets it to Bertrand who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Jersey Arts returns it. Custer sets one up. And the Gold Diggers return it again. Jenkins to Arts. And number four, Rachel Miklos hits it into the net. Gold Diggers get the point. It's now 19 to 11. And Hannah Hansen has the serve for Lee Deadwood. Hansen gets it over. Custer will set one up. Bertrand sets it for Ivy Hayes, and a little bit of a misfire there. Ball goes out of bounds. Wildcats lead it 20 to 11, and we've got a couple subs. Number 14, Jada Bennett, and number 11 checking in. And we've got a timeout on the four. The Gold Diggers call their first time out of the set. They have one remaining, 20 to 11. Custer with the lead.
both teams are returning to the floor. Jada Bennett will have the serve for Custer coming out of the timeout. Wildcats lead it 20 to 11 in the first set. Bennett's serve goes over. Percy sets it up, but the Gold Diggers can't return it. It's now 21 to 11. Wildcats with a 10 point lead. There's the serve by Bennett. Hansen with a dig. Bertrand sets it for Ivy Hayes and a little bit of a misfire there. Doesn't go over the net. And the Wildcats doubling up the Gold Diggers 22 to 11. There's the serve by Bennett and that one is an ace. Right into the middle of the Gold Digger defense. 23 to 11 Custer. CC Percy, Jersey Art saves it, and the Gold Diggers can't return it. Game point for the Wildcats, it's 24 to 11. There's the serve by Bennett, it hits the net. Gold Diggers get the point. It is 24 to 12. Jersey Arts will have the serve for Lee Deadwood. Arts with a serve. Wildcats can't return it. An ace for the Gold Diggers, 24 to 13. Another serve by Arts, that one's over. The Wildcats set one up. Arts to Kaylee Bertrand. And they're going to call a carry on the Gold Diggers. And the Wildcats take the first set, 25 to 13, and they're up one nothing in the JV game. It's too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take Both teams have returned to the floor. We're about ready to get the second set underway in the JV match. Lee Deadwood will be serving. Number six, Addie Eastman is ready to do it. And we're underway. Wildcats return the serve. 
Addie Eastman returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up. It's off Addie Eastman and out of bounds. Wildcats lead it one nothing. And we've got a substitution. Number 35, River Bailey checks into the game for Custer. Here's the serve, and that one is gonna land inbounds. None of the wild, uh, gold diggers made a attempt at that one. It kind of hit the back corner. Wildcats lead it two to nothing in the second set. Cece Percy gets to the serve. Hanson sets it up for Addie Eastman. Custer brings it back. Jersey Arts to Addie Eastman who sets it for Hannah Hanson. Wildcats return it again in Jersey Arts to Addie Eastman. Cece Percy with a return shot hits the net. And the Custer Wildcats lead it three to nothing here in the second set. And another serve for the Wildcats. That one is gonna go off the hands of number 13, Seely Fuller, and land for a Wildcat point. Four to nothing, Custer. Here's another serve, Jersey Arts hits it. Cece Percy saves it, and Hannah Hansen returns it for the Gold Diggers. That one is inbounds. Lands for a point right on the line. And we have a four to one ball game in the second set. Ivy Hayes checks in for the Gold Diggers. And Izzy Barnfiend is set to serve. Jersey Arts hits it off Addie Eastman. Diving attempt by Ivy Hayes, but it goes under the net. Five to one Custer Wildcats. Number 16, Lincoln Robb checks into the game. And she will be serving for Custer. Lincoln Robb hits it, and that one goes into the net. Five to two, Gold Diggers with a point. We have a substitution. Number 12, Isabella Griffith is gonna check in for the Gold Diggers, and Griffith will be serving for Lee Deadwood. Griffith gets the serve over. Wildcats can't return it. The return goes under the net. Gold Diggers get the point. They're back to within two, five to three. And Griffith will have another opportunity to serve for the Gold Diggers. Griffith gets it over. Custer sets one up. Cece Percy hits it. Addie Eastman sets it up for Seeley Four, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. And Custer with a return shot. Carlene Gunnell with a kill. Wildcats get the point. It's now six to three. And Custer gets the serve back. It will be Gunnell. Serve is over the net. Seedley four hits it for CeCe Percy. Addie Eastman with, returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer returns it. Isabella Griffith. And the Gold Diggers will get the point. Jersey Arts gets the point on that one. And it's now six to four. Seely Fuller will be serving it up for the Gold Diggers. Four serve is over the net. Custer sets one up. Isabella Griffith to CeCe Percy. Jersey Arts returns it, blocked by the Wildcats. Kira Nelson with a kill, blocked the shot, and it lands on the Gold Digger side of the net. Couple substitutions for Custer. Uh, looks like Bailey Cass is checking in, and so is uh, number 11. Jersey Arts returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up. Isabella Griffith hits it. 
Eastman sets it up for Jersey Arts, who hits it hard, but into the net. Eight to four Wildcats. And another serve for Jada Bennett, number 14. Bennett's serve is over. Isabella Griffith to Addie Eastman. Jersey Arts had another hard return, another one in the net. Just a little bit too low. Nine to four Custer. And another serve for Jada Bennett. Cece Percy hits it. Addie Eastman sets another one up for Jersey Arts. This one is over. Griffith to Addie Eastman. Ivy Hayes with a return shot off the top of the net and back on the gold digger side. Another point for the Wildcats. It's 10 to four. Bennett gets it over. CeCe Percy hits it. Addie Eastman sets it for Ivy Hayes. Custer sets one up. That's going to go off CeCe Percy into the grandstands behind the Gold Digger bench. And it's 11 to 4 Wildcats in the second set. In the C game at the beginning of the night, the Gold Diggers took the Wildcats to three sets. So Custer took the C game two to one. We're in the second set right now as Jersey Arts hits it over the net, but just out of bounds. 12 to four Wildcats. And the Gold Diggers will try to break the serve of Jada Bennett right here. Griffith to Addie Eastman who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets another one up. It deflects off of a wild uh, gold digger and lands in 13 to four Custer. And we've got a substitution. Number 11, Peyton Rogers is checking into the game for the gold diggers. Peyton Rogers will be in the back row for Lee Deadwood. There's the serve by Bennett. Peyton Rogers hits it in the air. Eastman. Gets it into CeCe Percy, who returns it. Custer sets one up, and the return shot by Rylan Lowe goes out of bounds. The Gold Diggers get the point to make it 13 to five. And it'll be CeCe Percy serving for the Gold Diggers. She's serving as their libero. Her shot goes into the net, so the Wildcats get it back, 14 to five. Number 22, Caitlin Nelson checking into the game for the Wildcats. Here's the serve by Lowe. It goes off of Isabella Griffith out of bounds. Point for the Wildcats. And we've got a timeout on the floor called by the Lee Deadwood Gold Diggers. Their first timeout of the set. And it is 15 to 5. Custer coming out of the timeout. Custer will be serving. The Gold Diggers are returning to the floor. And we're about to get underway again in the second set after the timeout. Rylan Lowe will still be serving for the Custer Wildcats. There's the whistle. And here's the serve. Isabella Griffith hits it. It goes over the net. Spiked by Caitlin Nelson, who gets the kill. 16 to 5 Wildcats. And another serve for Lowe. Peyton Rogers gets that one. Addie Eastman sets it for Jersey Arts, who returns it. Wildcats set one up. A couple of gold diggers, Barnfield and Arts, go up to block it. Can't quite return it. Wildcats get the point, so it's now 17 to 5. 
And the serve by Rylan Lowe. Peyton Rogers hits it. Isabella Griffith to Addie Eastman who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Griffith to Eastman. Jersey Arts hits it to flex off the Custer Wildcats on the front line and lands for a Gold Digger point. 17 to six. And Jersey Arts will be serving for the Gold Diggers. Arts gets the serve over the net. Custer sets one up. And number 12, Kira Nelson with a kill. 18 to six Wildcats. And another serve for the that's for the uh, Custer Wildcats. Peyton Rogers to Eastman. Barnfeen hits it. It goes into the net. 19 to 6 Wildcats. You get another serve. Peyton Rogers to Jersey Arts. And Hannah Hampson returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets up another one. Goes off CeCe Percy. Peyton Rogers saves it and returned by Addie Eastman. Good job by the Gold Diggers getting that ball returned. Eastman returns it again for Lee Deadwood. Custer sets one up again. And that one deflects off of Jersey Arts and out of bounds. Caitlin Nelson with a kill. And the Wildcats lead it 20-6. That serve goes into the net. So that'll be a gold digger point to make it 20 to seven. And we have a substitution for the gold diggers. Number 13, Seeley Fuller is checking in. Peyton Rogers checks out for the gold diggers. Addie Eastman gets the serve over for Lee Deadwood. Returned by Custer. Arts hits it into the net. Uh, Barnfeen tries to return it, but that's gonna be four hits on the gold diggers. Couple of subs for Custer. Wildcats lead it 21 to seven in the second set. And another serve goes in the net for Custer. Another point for the Gold Diggers, it's 21 to eight. Ivy Hayes is going to be checking out. Tessa Jenkins coming in for the Gold Diggers. They trail 21 to 8. Izzy Barnfiend with a serve. Custer will set one up. It goes off Addie Eastman. Saved by Seeley Four and returned by Eastman. Gold Diggers doing a good job returning it. Barnfiend hits it. Eastman sets it up for Hannah Hansen who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Returned by Custer, out of bounds. The Gold Diggers get the point to make it 21 to nine. And I think there's some confusion there. Lee Deadwood was already serving. So Barnfiend will stay in the game and serve. Her serve hits the net. Custer gets the point to make it 22 to nine. Lincoln Robb checks into the game for the Custer Wildcats. And the serve by Lincoln Robb hits the top of the net. Gold Diggers get the point. It's 22 to 10. And it looks like Hannah Hansen will have the serve for Lee Deadwood. And Hansen's serve hits the net. Point for the Wildcats to make it 23 to 10. We have another substitution. Isabella Griffith checking in for the Gold Diggers. And number 21, Carlene Gannell set to serve for the Wildcats. Gannell gets it over off of Isabella Griffith. Point for the Wildcats. It's now 24 to 10, and this is match point for the Wildcats. Gannell gets it over. It is off Sealy 4, out of bounds. Wildcats will take the second set 25 to 10. 
They have taken the JV match, and next up we'll have the varsity game between the Lee Deadwood Gold Diggers and the Custer Wildcats. We'll be starting that in about 15 or 20 minutes. Part in high school sports or activities. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dwayne Sobzak today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Rosenberg Implement wants you to get a jump on next year's summer haying season by offering an 8% discount this week on windrower sections and knives. Your windrower head can take a beating with knives and sections while cutting low to the ground. Now is the perfect time to replace them before you put your John Deere windrower away for the winter. Stop at any of Grossenberg Implement's locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming and save 8% on windrower sections and knives this week. Have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. 
and through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dwayne Sobzak today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Grossenberg Implement wants you to get a jump on next year's summer haying season by offering an 8% discount this week on windrower sections and knives. Your windrower head can take a beating with knives and sections while cutting low to the ground. Now is the perfect time to replace them before you put your John Deere windrower away for the winter. Stop at any of Grossenberg Implement's locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming and save 8% on windrower sections and knives this week. have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live.
your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it, and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dwayne Sobzak today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Grossenberg Implement wants you to get a jump on next year's summer haying season by offering an 8% discount this week on windrower sections and knives. Your windrower head can take a beating with knives and sections while cutting low to the ground. Now is the perfect time to replace them before you put your John Deere windrower away for the winter. Stop at any of Grossenberg Implement's locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming and save 8% on windrower sections and knives this week. have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. 
To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dwayne Sobzak today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Grossenberg Implement wants you to get a jump on next year's summer haying season by offering an 8% discount this week on windrower sections and knives. Your windrower head can take a beating with knives and sections while cutting low to the ground. Now is the perfect time to replace them before you put your John Deere windrower away for the winter. Stop at any of Grossenberg Implement's locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming and save 8% on windrower sections and knives this week. have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. 
And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here is your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dwayne Sobzak today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Rosenberg Implement wants you to... Okay, we just started the volleyball game, the varsity game between the Lee Deadwood Gold Diggers and the Custer Wildcats. Custer ended up getting the first point. They lead it right now one to zero. And Custer is serving right now as we pick up the game in the varsity match. Erica Hansen gets it over the net, gets a Gold Digger point. We are tied one to one. Number 15, Delaney Matson checks in for the Gold Diggers. Sydney Percy is set to serve for Lee Deadwood. We're tied at one as the varsity match is just underway. Percy's serve goes into the net. The Custer Wildcats lead it two to one. And Custer will get set to serve. Delaney Matson hits it, blocked by the Custer Wildcats. They will get the point and lead it three to one. Rachel Miklos has the serve for the Wildcats. Custer took the C game in the JV matches earlier tonight. 
Matson returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up and that's gonna be ruled in. Jordan Larson with a point for the Custer Wildcats. They are up four to one. And Miklos will still be serving for the Wildcats. It is over. Number five, Erica Hansen hits it. Sydney Percy gets it to Nakia Black. And that one is return point for the Custer Wildcats. That was number six, Madeline Meyer with a point for Custer. They lead it five to one and still have the serve. Miklos gets it over. Erica Hansen hits it to Ava Bertrand who returns it for the Gold Diggers. That one's up in the air. Hansen tries to block it, but and they're going to call in the net. Number two was called for being in the net. Uh, so the Gold Diggers get the point. It's now five to two. And the serve is Erica Hansen. Hansen gets it over. Wildcats return it. Percy returns it, and there's a spike. Number seven, Jordan Larson with a kill for the Wildcats, who lead it six to two. Nakia Black sets it up for Erica Hansen, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. That is going to go out of bounds. The Wildcats get the point and lead it seven to two. Kayla Hennies with a serve for the Wildcats. Sydney Percy to Nakia Black, and then Haley Jankard returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up, and there's another one. Another kill for Jordan Larson. Eight to two, Custer. And they still have the serve. Anise gets the serve over, and Akaya Black hits it. But there's no gold diggers around to return it as it goes out of bounds. Nine to two for the Wildcats. Anise gets it over. Erica Hansen hits it. Sydney Percy sets it up, and Hansen returns it for the gold diggers. That one's set up, and the hit goes out of bounds. Gold Diggers will get the point. It's now 9-3. to three. Clarity Prey and Taylor Hansen check in for the Gold Diggers, and Clarity Prey will be serving. Prey gets the serve over for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up, and that one goes long. This time, Larson hits it too long. Gold Diggers get the point. It's now nine to four. And we have another serve for Clarity Prey. Prey gets it over. Custer sets one up again. That one is dropped in there. Erica Hansen dives and gets it and then Matson returns it. That one is set up. Percy. And a little miscommunication as the Gold Diggers can't Return it. It's now 10 to 4. Nakia Black checks back in for the Gold Diggers. We have a sub for Custer. Number 17, Kata Harris, comes into the game and she will be serving for the Wildcats. Harris gets it over for the Wildcats. Jankard hits it. To Erica Hansen, returned by Taylor Hansen, and she drops it in for a gold digger point. That'll make it 10 to 5. Delaney Matson has the serve for the gold diggers as Jason Vote checks back in for the gold diggers. Matson gets the serve over. Custer's going to set one up. Nakia Black to Taylor Hansen, who sets it for Haley Jankard, and it goes off of Harris, lands for a gold digger point. 
10 to five. And another serve for Delaney Matson. Matson gets the serve over. The Wildcats are gonna set it up. Nakia Black, the handsome block by Jordan Larson for a point for the Wildcats. It's now 11 to six. And Larson will have the serve for Custer. Jordan Larson with a serve over the net. Sydney Percy hits it. Nakia Black sets it up for Percy who returns it. And Custer tried to set it up. Went a little too far, goes out of bounds and the Gold Diggers get the point. They are backed within four, 11 to seven. And Haley Jankard will have the serve for Lee Deadwood. Jankard just out of bounds. Wildcats get the point to make it 12 to seven. The serve for the Custer Wildcats goes in the net. Gold Diggers get the point. It's now 12 to eight. The libero, Kayla Hanis, comes in for Custer. Ava Bertrand will have the serve for the Gold Diggers who trail 12 to eight here in the first set. Bertrand gets it over. Custer will set one up for Miklos. Deflex off Nakia Black. Diving attempt by Sidney Percy, but the Gold Diggers can't return it. 13 to eight Wildcats. Custer with another substitution. Number 21, Caitlin Nelson checks in. Me close with a serve. Allison Keene hits it. Ava Bertrand sets it up for Erica Hansen who returns it. Custer returns that one off Bertrand. Sydney Percy goes into the Gold Diggers bench. Good attempt there, but they can't return it. Uh, the Wildcats get the point to make it 14 to eight. And Custer retains the serve. Micaiah Black to Erica Hansen. Chase of Oat returns it and it's ruled out of bounds. 15 to eight for the Wildcats, who still have the serve. Allison Keene hits it, Hansen sets it, Black serve just out of bounds. 16 to eight Wildcats, timeout Gold Diggers. That's their first timeout of the set. 16 to eight, Custer coming out of the timeout. Jump on next year's summer haying season by offering an 8% discount this week on windrower sections and knives. Your windrower head can take a beating with knives and sections while cutting low to the ground. Now is the perfect time to replace them before you put your John Deere windrower away for the winter. Stop at any of Grossenberg Implements locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming and save 8% on windrower sections and knives this week. Back to the action. Custer with a serve. They lead it 16 to 8. Percy to Ava Bertrand. And then Sydney Percy returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up. Bertrand to Nakia Black. Jason Vogt returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets up another one. Miklos shot out of bounds. Gold Diggers with a point. It's now 16. Oh, wait a minute. Um. The point is going to go to the Custer Wildcats. I didn't see the call there, but somebody must have been in the net or something. 17 to 8 Wildcats. As Custer will get the point, and there is an ace. 
Kylie Polsher with the ace, and she'll have another opportunity. 18 to eight, Wildcats. Polsher served, diving attempt by Allison Keene, but the Gold Diggers can't return it. It's now 19 to eight. Kylie Polsher gets it over. Keene. Nakia Black returns it for the Gold Diggers. And Custer returns it. Hansen hits it over. And they're going to call the Wildcats for being in the net. So a point for the Gold Diggers to make it 19 to 9. Delaney Matson is back in the game on the front line for Lee Deadwood. And Sydney Percy has the serve. Percy gets the serve over, and Custer can't return it. An ace for Sidney Percy, and it's now 19 to 10. Percy gets the serve over for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up. Ava off of Ava Bertrand, and in the net, 20 to 10 for the Wildcats. And Rachel Miklos will have the serve for Custer. They lead it 20 to 10. Miklos gets it over. Erica Hansen to Ava Bertrand who sets it up for Delaney Matson. The Wildcats can't return that one. It hits the back wall, out of bounds. Gold Diggers get the point to make it 20 to 11. Haley Jankard checks into the game for the Gold Diggers and Erica Hansen will still have the serve. Hansen gets the serve over for Lee Deadwood. Custer sets one up. Percy to Nakia Black blocked by the Wildcats. And they're gonna call the Gold Diggers for being in the net. The Wildcats get the point to go up 21 to 11. Number eight, Cece Percy checks into the ball game for the Gold Diggers. So it's 21 to 11. And number five, Kayla Hanis has the serve for the Wildcats. Nakia Black returns it, drops it in for a point. The Gold Diggers back to within nine, 21 to 12. Clarity Prey and Taylor Hansen check in for the Gold Diggers. Clarity Prey will have the serve. And it's over. Custer sets one up. The return shot, too long, goes out of bounds. Good decision by Clarity Prey to let that one go. Gold Diggers get the point and it's 21 to 13. Here's another serve for Clarity Prey. It is over the net. Custer. Sets one up, it's over. Diving attempt by Taylor Hansen, but that one is gonna go out of bounds. The Wildcats get the point to make it 22 to 13, and we have a substitution. Number 17, Kata Harris checks into the game, and she will be serving for the Custer Wildcats. Nakia Black checks back in for the Gold Diggers. It's over, Sydney Percy hits it. Nakia Black sets it up for Delaney Matson. Wildcats return it, diving attempt by CeCe Percy, but it's gonna land for a point. 23 to 13 Wildcats. And another serve here for Kata Harris. Sydney Percy to Nakia Black. Sets it for Taylor Hansen, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer with a return shot, out of bounds. Gold Diggers get the point. It's now 23 to 14. Delaney Matson will have the serve for the Gold Diggers. And Jace Aboat just checked in to play the front line for the Gold Diggers. Matson's serve hits the net. The Wildcats will get the point. They lead it 24 to 14, so set point here in the first set. Number seven, Jordan Larson has the serve. 
Haley Jankard returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets one up. Blocked by Jace Vogt. Out of bounds, the point goes to the Custer Wildcats who take the first set, 25 to 14. Second set coming up. have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. Okay. All right, we're set to return to the action. We're in the second set. Custer captured the first set, 25 to 14. So they're up 1-0. And we're about to get underway. Number 11, Kylie Pulcher has the serve for the Wildcats. Allison Keene hits it. Taylor Hansen returns it for the Gold Diggers. Miklos returns it, goes off of Allison Keene, out of bounds. Wildcats off to a one to nothing lead here in the second set. Miklos still has the serve for Custer. Sydney Percy hits it, goes out of bounds. The Wildcats will get the point. They're up two to nothing here in the second set. Miklos gets it over. Percy hits it to Taylor Hansen, who sets it for Jace Oat. Wildcats set one up. Miklos returns it. Allison Keene hits it. Erica Hansen gets it over for Lee Deadwood. Keene 
to Nakia Black, who sets it for Taylor Hansen. Her return shot goes out of bounds. The Wildcats get the point and lead it three to nothing. Kylie Polsher with a serve, diving attempt by Keem. Hansen hits it off the net. Gold Diggers can't return it, and the Wildcats are up 4-0 here in the second set. Kylie Polsher gets it over. Keen to Taylor Hansen, who drops it in for a point. The Wildcats can't return that one. It's now 4-1. Ava Bertrand checks into the ball game for the Gold Diggers and she will have the serve. Bertrand gets it over. Emily Burkowski returned it for the Wildcats. Bertrand returns it right back for the Gold Diggers. That one is set up, shot too long, out of bounds. Gold Diggers get the point to make it four to two. And Ava Bertrand still with the serve. Bertrand hits it. Wildcats set one up. Bertrand to Nakia Black. Return shot goes into the net. The Custer Wildcats get the point to make it 5-2. to two. And Rachel Miklos has the serve for Custer. Nakia Black. To Ava Bertrand, Sydney Percy gets it over. The Wildcats return it. Percy to Ava Bertrand, who returns it for Lee Deadwood. Another attempt by the Wildcats. And that lands in the middle of the Gold Digger defense for a point. Custer leads it 6-2. to two. The serve by Rachel Miklos is over. Allison Keene hits it. Sydney Percy to Nakia Black who returns it. Custer sets one up and that'll be a point. Emily Burkowski with a kill for Custer. Wildcats go up seven to two. Timeout Gold Diggers. That's their first timeout of the second set. How to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dwayne Sobzak today and let's get started in building your brand. All right, we're back to the action after the timeout. Custer will be serving. Wildcats up seven to two. Miklos gets it over. Sydney Percy returns it. And the Wildcats return it right back. Erica Hansen got it over for the Diggers on that play. Allison Keen to Ava Bertrand who sets it for Jason Vote. Vote returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer gets it right back over. Vote to Ava Bertrand back to Vote and it's out of bounds. Custer with a point eight to two after a good volley there. Miklos gets it over. Nakia Black with a dig returns it to the Gold Diggers. Jordan Larson returns it for Custer. Bertrand sets it up for Eric Hansen. Blocked by the Wildcats and it drops in for a Custer point. That was number six, Madeline Meyer getting the point for the Wildcats who lead it nine to two. Nick 
close for the serve. Percy to Ava Bertrand. Wildcats get a block, but the Gold Diggers return it, and that one hits the net. Burkowski returns it. Keen to Bertrand. Hansen returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer takes it off the floor. Shot blocked by Jason O. That's a point. Gold Diggers make it a 9-3 game. And Sidney Percy has the serve for Lee Deadwood. Percy's serve is too long, goes out of bounds. Wildcats get the point to make it 10 to three. And number five, Kayla Hanise has the serve for the Wildcats. Hanise, Keen, Bertrand returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer with a return, Allison Keen to Nakia Black who drops it in for a Gold Digger point. That'll make it 10 to four. And Erica Hansen now has the serve for the Diggers. Haley Jankard checks in for Lee Deadwood. Hansen gets it over for Lee Deadwood. Nakia Black to Ava Bertrand. Haley Jankard returns it for Lee Deadwood. Custer sets up another one off of Matson to Nakia Black. Matson returns it for the Gold Diggers. And there's the kill for number seven, Jordan Larson. Number 17, Kata Harris checks in for Custer. They signal her into the game and she'll have the serve. Wildcats lead it 11 to four here in the second set. Kata Harris gets the serve over. Percy hits it. CeCe Percy gets it to Delaney Matson. And they're going to call Custer for being in the net. The Gold Diggers are going to get the point to make it 11 to 5. Clarity Prey checks in for the Gold Diggers, and she will be serving. Clarity Prey gets the serve over for Lee Deadwood. Custer sets one up. Prey hits it. Bertrand sets it up for Sidney Percy, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Shot blocked by Delaney Matson. Custer will set it up again. They return it. Clarity Prey to Ava Bertrand. Delaney Matson returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets up another one that is hit by Brooklyn Bennett. Goes out of bounds. Lee Deadwood gets the point, and Clarity Prey with another serve for Lee Deadwood. It's 11 to six. Custer, that one hits the top of the net and goes over. Custer returns it. Haley Jankard sets it for Sidney Percy. Wildcats return it. The hit by Jordan Larson is too long. It goes out of bounds, and the Gold Diggers are back to within four. It's now 11 to seven. And Clarity Prey with another serve. That one is over. Custer sets it up, and that one's going to drop in for a point. Couple of subs for Lee Deadwood. Nakia Black and Taylor Hansen are going to check in. And for Custer, Rachel Miklos will check back in. 12 to 7, Custer here in the second set. And we're back to the action. Nakia Black sets it up for Delaney Matson. Miklos returns it off of CeCe Percy and out of bounds. Wildcats get the point to go ahead 13 to seven. Jordan Larson still has the serve for the Wildcats. Larson with a serve. Sydney Percy hits it off the net. Nakia Black was able to save it for the time being, but the Gold Diggers can't return it. 
14 to seven Custer and another serve for Jordan Larson, number seven. Sydney Percy to Nakia Black and Cece Percy returns it for the Gold Diggers. They set it up again and there's a spike. Number nine, Brooklyn Bennett with a kill. The Wildcats lead it 15 to seven. And we have another serve for the Wildcats and Jordan Larson. Larson gets it over. Cece Percy to Nakia Black. Sydney Percy returns it for the Gold Diggers and the Wildcats hit it out of bounds. The Gold Diggers get the point. Delaney Matson will be serving for the Gold Diggers as Jace of Oat checks in. 15 to eight, Custer in the second set. Matson serve is down. An ace for the Gold Diggers. 15 to nine. And another serve coming up for Delaney Matson. Wildcats set it up for Rachel Miklos. CeCe Percy gets it to Nakia Black. CeCe Percy returns it. A couple of Wildcats hit it. And they return it off Nakia Black, out of bounds. The Wildcats get the point. 16 to nine, Custer. And Brooklyn Bennett has the serve for Custer. Brooklyn Bennett gets it over. Sydney Percy hits it to Nakia Black, who sets it up. Haley Jankard hits it into the net. And the Wildcats will get the point and now lead it 17 to nine. Here's the serve by Brooklyn Bennett. Nakia Black returns it for the Gold Diggers. And Nakia Black returns it again for the Gold Diggers. Another one set up, that one goes in for a point. Diving attempt by Nakia Black, but it lands in bounds. 18 to nine Wildcats. The score shows 17 to nine. I think it should be 18 to nine. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if they change it on the scoreboard. I believe it's 18 to nine Custer. Here's the return shot by Miklos. That will be a point for the Wildcats who are now up. Well, maybe it is 18 to nine. I think it's 19 to nine. All right, yeah. That one goes out of bounds. The Wildcats get the point. Uh, Allison Keene and Erica Hansen are checking in and uh, have they changed it? 18 to 10 is what we have on the scoreboard, so maybe that's right. Custer sets it up off Percy. Allison Keene and the Gold Diggers can't return it. So that'll be a point for the Custer Wildcats. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's after this game. Wait a here. Actually, see after this game, put the arrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Custer Wildcats, uh, they're actually giving that to the Gold Diggers now. So the point is actually going to go to the Gold Diggers. They get the point. So it sh is now 19 to 11. And number 12, Ava Bertrand will be serving for Lee Deadwood. She gets it over. Hansen returns it for the Gold Diggers. Miklos gets it over for Custer. Keen to vote. Back to Keen who gets returns it. 
Miklos deflects off of Micaiah Black and goes in for a point. Wildcats get the point and go up 20 to 11. Miklos gets the serve over for Custer. Bertrand sets it up for Erica Hansen who returns it. And the Wildcats can't return that one. It hits the net, lands for a point. It's now 20 to 12. Number one, Kylie Ellerton will be checking in for the Custer Wildcats. Sydney Percy has the serve for the Gold Diggers. That one hits the net and rolls over. Gold Diggers get the point and the roll. So it's now 20 to 13. Gold Diggers get it back to within seven as Percy returns it. Custer serves that one over the net, lands between two Gold Digger defenders. And the Wildcats go up 21 to 13 here in the second set. Here comes the serve. Erica Hansen digs it out. Allison Keene returns it. Diving attempt by the Wildcats. They can't return it. Drops in for a point. And it's now 21 to 14 Custer here in the second set. Haley Jankard checking in for the Gold Diggers. And Erica Hansen has the serve. And the return shot and the kill for number nine, Brooklyn Bennett. Drops it in. And the Gold Diggers will call a timeout. That's their last timeout of the second set. 22 to 14, Custer coming out of the timeout. Just real quick, the batter auction will end at the end of this set. Ms. Schumacher will start to pick up sheets after this set is over. So if you have something you want to rush out and get, it's been checked on, and now's the time. Both teams heading back onto the court. We've got a substitution for the Wildcats, number 17. Is checking in. That is Shauna Zocker. And Custer will serve and we're back underway here in the second set. Nakaya Black sets it up for Sydney Percy. Gold Diggers return it. That was Matson. Deflects off Matson. Ava Bertrand to Sydney Percy. Delaney Matson returns it again for the Gold Diggers. Custer will return it. Hits the net. Gold Diggers will get the point. And we have a substitution. Clarity Prey checks in for the Gold Diggers, and CeCe Percy is also in the game. Prey with a serve, 22 to 15 Custer here in the second set. Clarity Prey gets it over. Custer sets one up, it hits the mat, drops in for a point. That's Jordan Larson with the point for the Wildcats to make it 23 to 15, more substitutions. We've got Nakaya Black and Taylor Hansen coming back in for Lee Deadwood. And we've got Rachel Miklos checking in for the Wildcats. And Jordan Larson with a serve and it's gonna drop in for a point. Larson with the ace, it's now 24 to 15 and it is set point for the Custer Wildcats. Ah! 
Sydney Percy gets the dig. Nakia Black sets it up for Delaney Matson, who returns it. Black returns it again for Lee Deadwood. That one's set up and out of bounds. Point for the Gold Diggers. So that'll make it 24 to 16. And Delaney Matson now has the serve for Lee Deadwood. Matson gets the serve over. Return by number 11, Kylie Polsher drops in for a Wildcat point, and that'll end the second set. Custer takes it 25 to 16. They're up two sets to none, and the third set will be coming up in about three minutes. Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start so that the people may live. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Grossenberg Implement wants you to get a jump on next year's summer haying season by offering an 8% discount this week on windrower sections and knives. Your windrower head can take a beating with knives and sections while cutting low to the ground. Now is the perfect time to replace them before you put your John Deere windrower away for the winter. Stop at any of Grossenberg Implement's locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming and save 8% on windrower sections and knives this week. start the third set. Custer captured the first two, so they're up 2-0 coming into the final set here. Referees are checking the lineups and we'll get underway in about a minute. The libero, Sydney Percy, comes into the game for Lee Deadwood. Ava Bertrand will start it off with a serve for the Gold Diggers. And her serve is over the net. Miklos returns it for Custer. Nakia Black sets it for Erica Hansen, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Miklos returns it again. Allison Keene to Ava Bertrand to Erica Hansen. Gold Diggers return it again. Miklos shot blocked by Jason Vogt and Nakia Black. Miko, Miklos gets it over again. Bertrand sets it up for Nakia Black. And uh, miscommunication 
the Custer Wildcats. Neither one of them hit the ball. It lands for a point, and the Gold Diggers go up one to nothing here in the third set. Delaney Matson checks out of the game for the Gold Diggers, and Bertrand will have another serve. Here's the return by Bertrand. And the Wildcats hit it into the net. Hits off the top of the curtain, and that's going to be a point for the Gold Diggers. They lead it 2 to nothing here in the third set. Good start by the Gold Diggers. Bertrand will have another serve. Kestrel set one up. That shot too far. Goes out of bounds. Three to nothing lead Deadwood here in this third set. And Bertrand will have another serve. They set one up for Miklos. Sydney Percy to Ava Bertrand. Jace Avoda on the return goes into the net. The Wildcats pick up their first point of the set. Number 12, Emily Burkowski checks into the game for Custer. And number 11, Kylie Polsher will have the serve. Polsher gets the serve over the net. Ava Bertrand sets it for Jace of Oat. Wildcats try to return it, and they do. No, it's out of bounds. So we're gonna say that one went inside the net, out of bounds, so inside the pole. Gold Diggers go up four to one. And Sydney Percy will have another serve. Percy gets it over. Custer will set one up, it is blocked. And they're gonna call it in the net. The Gold Diggers get the point. So they called in the net. On Miklos, Gold Diggers lead it 5-1. to one. And the Lee Deadwood student section is getting into it. Percy's serve hits the top of the mat. That'll be a point for the Custer Wildcats. So it's now 5-2 to two here in the set, uh, third set. Rachel Miklos gets the serve over for Custer. Percy with a dig. Ava Bertrand sets it for Delaney Matson, who returned it for the Gold Diggers. Return shot by Jordan Larson hits the mat. Gold Diggers get the point. They lead it six to two. And Erica Hansen has the serve. Hansen gets it over. Wildcats set one up. Nakia Black returns it. And the Wildcats drop it into the vacated spot in the back and get the point. It's now six to three. Number 21, Caitlin Nelson checks in for Custer. And uh, Kayla Hanis has to serve for the Wildcats. Diving save by Erica Hansen. And Haley Jankard gets it over. Custer sets one up. Bertrand to Erica Hansen. Nakia Black returned it for the Gold Diggers. Wildcats set one up. It hits the net, deflects off a Gold Digger, and goes out of bounds. So the Wildcats now make it six to four. Another serve for Hanis. Sydney Percy to Nakia Black. Delaney Matson returns it. It hits the back line and goes inbounds. The Gold Diggers get the point and lead it 7-4. Clarity Prey checks in for the Gold Diggers. And she will be serving. Prey gets it over. Wildcats set one up. It hits the net. Erica Hansen to Ava Bertrand. Matson tries to return it, but it hits the net. 
Custer Wildcats get the point to make it seven to five. We got several subs. Number 17, Shauna Zocker checks in for the Wildcats and Nakia Black checks in for the Gold Diggers. Haley Jankard with a return, blocked by the Wildcats, but they'll set one up. And the return shot out of bounds. Gold Diggers get the, oh, wait a minute. They're calling the Gold Diggers for being in the net. So that point is actually gonna go to the Custer Wildcats. So again, that's the Wildcats getting the point. Uh, we're in the net and it should be seven to six Gold Diggers. And an ace. Number 17, Shauna Zocker with the ace. We're tied at seven here in the third set. Next serve hits the net. The Gold Diggers get the point and they lead it eight to seven. Jace Avote checks in for the Gold Diggers and Delaney Matson gets set to serve. Matson gets it over. The Wildcats return it off of Jace of Oat, and it'll go under the net. Wildcats get the point. We're tied at eight in the third set. And number seven, Jordan Larson has the serve for Custer. Larson's serve hits the net. The Gold Diggers get the point to go on top nine to eight. And Allison Keene is checking in for the Gold Diggers and she will have the serve. Keene gets it over off the top of the net. Wildcats can't return it. That's an ace for the Gold Diggers, 10 to eight. And another serve for Allison Keene. Gold Diggers can't return that one. The Wildcats get the point. It's now 10 to nine. And Caitlin Nelson has the serve for Custer. 10 to nine Gold Diggers here in the third set as Taylor Hansen just checked into the game for Lee Deadwood. Nelson serve, hits the back line, it goes in. And that'll tie it up for the Wildcats. We're tied 10 to 10 here in the third set. And another serve for Caitlin Nelson. Nelson gets it over. Allison Keene hits it. Ava Bertrand returned it. Custer sets one up. Nakia Black to Erica Hansen who returns it. There's Nakia Black. Ava Bertrand sets it for Erica Hansen. Deflects off a Wildcat. Returned by Miklos. That one's set up for Taylor Hansen who returns it. And the Wildcats hit it into the net. The Gold Diggers get the point. They go up 11 to 10. Number five, Kayla Hanise checks in for Custer. And Ava Bertrand has the serve for Lee Deadwood. Miklos returns it, Sydney Percy to Ava Bertrand. Erica Hansen returned it for the Gold Diggers. Miklos returns it again. Percy to Ava Bertrand. Nakia Black hits it in the net. Wildcats get the point and we are tied at 11. Number 12, Emily Burkowski checks in for Custer. And Kylie Polsher has the serve. Polsher gets it over. Percy sets it up for Ava Bertrand. Nakia Black hits it too long, out of bounds. And the Wildcats take the lead 12 to 11 in the third set. Kylie Polsher gets the serve over. Percy hits it. Ava Bertrand sets it for Erica Hansen. Returned by the Wildcats, too long, goes out of bounds. Gold Diggers tie it up at 12. 
And Taylor Hansen has the serve for Lee Deadwood. Delaney Matson checked into the game. Taylor Hansen gets the serve over. And Madeline Meyer returns it for Custer. Gold Diggers can't return that one. Wildcats go up 13 to 12 as Jason Vogt checks into the game and then comes out. Sydney Percy, the libero, comes in. The serve by Miklos is over. Hansen hits it, Bertrand. Oh, good effort by Nakia Black. Hope she's all right. Into the gold digger bench. The Wildcats get the point. It's now 14 to 12. Good hustle there by Nakia Black. Good effort. Ava Bertrand sets it for Delaney Matson. Wildcats return it. Sydney Percy to Ava Bertrand who returns it. Allison Keene to Nakia Black who returns it for the Gold Diggers. Keene to Bertrand. Matson returns it and that is in on the return shot. Drops in the back row 14 to 13. Kylie Ellerton checks in for the Custer Wildcats. And Erica Hansen has the serve for the Gold Diggers. And they have a late substitution here. Haley Jankard checks in for the Gold Diggers. And we're ready to go. Erica Hansen with a serve. Custer sets one up, it's too long. Goes out of bounds. Gold Diggers get the point, we're tied at 14. And timeout called by the Custer Wildcats who used their first timeout of the third set. We'll come back to the action tied at 14. And that one was out of bounds also. Gold Diggers get the point. It is 15 to 14. So the Gold Diggers get the lead back. Erica Hansen gets the serve over and it's gonna go into the net. Custer can't return it. Gold Diggers up by two, 16 to 14. And another serve for Erica Hansen. It's over, and it's gonna be an ace. The Wildcats can't return it. 17 to 14, Gold Diggers. Hansen gets it over. The Wildcats return it. Nakia Black to Delaney Matson, who returns it for the Gold Diggers. And the return shot out of bounds. Goes too long. The Gold Diggers get the point. They lead it 18 to 14. Hansen gets the serve over. Custer will set one up and that'll be in for a point. Wildcats break the serve. It's now 18 to 15. We've got a substitution for the Wildcats. Number nine, Brooklyn Bennett comes in. 
And Kayla Hanise has the serve for the Wildcats. Erica Hansen hits it. Micaiah Black gets it to Hansen who returns it. And the shot goes in the net. Custer can't return it for a point. Gold Diggers go up 19 to 15. Clarity Prey checks in for the Gold Diggers and she will have the serve. 19 to 15 Gold Diggers. Prey gets the serve over. Wildcats set one up. Hanson hits it and out of bounds. Custer gets the point to make it 19 to 16. And Shauna Zocker checks in for the Wildcats. Nakia Black checked in for the Gold Diggers. So each team makes a substitution. And here's the serve. Nakia Black to Sydney Percy. Returned by Ava Bertrand and it's in. It hits the back line. Point for the Gold Diggers, it's 20 to 16. And the Custer Wildcats will call their final timeout of the third set. 20 to 16 Gold Diggers coming out of the timeout. Timeout is over. Jace Avote checks into the game for the Gold Diggers. Delaney Matson will be serving for Lee Deadwood. And we're underway again. That serve hits the net. The Custer Wildcats get the point. It's now 20 to 17. Number four, Rachel Miklos checks back in for the Custer Wildcats. And Jordan Larson gets the serve over. Nakia Black returns it. Miklos shot, blocked by a couple of gold diggers, but they can't return it. Ooh. And we've got a whistle on the play. They're gonna call in the net. Gold diggers are called for being in the net. The Wildcats get the point. It's now 20 to 18. And another serve for Jordan Larson. That one hits the top of the net, drops in for a point. The Wildcats got the roll that time. And the Gold Diggers call a timeout. That's their first timeout of the second set. 20 to 19 Gold Diggers coming out of the timeout. Custer still has the serve. It's 20 to 19, and Jordan Larson gets it over. Sydney Percy hits it. Bertrand returns it. It hits the top of the net and drops in for a point. The Gold Diggers lead it 21 to 19. Allison Keene checks in for the Gold Diggers, and she will have the serve. Allison Keene gets the serve over for the Gold Diggers. The return shot out of bounds. Miklos shot a little too long and the Gold Diggers lead it 22 to 19. That serve ended up going into the lobby.
<laughs> Allison Keene with a serve. And it's blocked by Jace Oat. Custer still returns it. Nakia Black sets it for Erica Hansen. And the Wildcats return it. There's a point. Number nine, Brooklyn Bennett with the point. 22 to 20. And Brooklyn Bennett will have the serve for the Custer Wildcats. It's 22 to 20. Serve goes over the net off Sydney Percy, but Ava Bertrand, good reactions, returns it for the Gold Diggers. Nakia Black to Ava Bertrand, sets it for Erica Hansen. The Wildcats return it into the middle of the Gold Digger defense. It'll drop for a point. Wildcats back to within one. It's now 22 to 21. And Brooklyn Bennett still has the serve. Sydney Percy hits it. Nakia Black returns it for the Gold Diggers. Erica Hansen returned that one. Set up for Miklos, hits the net, drops for a point. Gold Diggers lead it 23 to 21. They get the point and they lead by two. <laughs> Ava Bertrand with a serve, gets it over the net. Miklos returns it. Nakia Black sets it for Erica Hansen and her shot out of bounds. Just out of bounds. Wildcats get the point. It's 23 to 22. Emily Burkowski checks into the game for Custer. Kylie Poulter with a serve. Sydney Percy to Ava Bertrand. Erica Hansen returns it for the Gold Diggers. Custer sets another one up. The return shot too long, out of bounds. Miklos hits it out of bounds. And that'll be set point for the Gold Diggers who lead it 24 to 22. Delaney Matson checks into the game. Sydney Percy will have the serve. Percy gets it over. Custer will set one up. Nakia Black to Delaney Matson. Return shot is too long, goes out of bounds. So it's 24 to 23. Gold Diggers up by one. Rachel Miklos will have the serve for Custer. Miklos gets it over. Allison Keene hits it. Nice return by Nakia Black, but they're calling in the net. Nakia Black called for being in the net. The Custer Wildcats get the point and we are tied at 24. So 24 to 24. Miklos still has the serve. Bertrand sets it for Erica Hansen. Her shot goes into the net. Timeout Gold Diggers. And it's 25 to 24 Wildcats and it'll be match point coming in out of the timeout. Teams are returning to the floor after the timeout. And we're about to get underway. Student section has been into the game all night. Miklos for the serve. Hansen to Ava Bertrand. Sets it up for Delaney Matson who returns it. Custer sets one up. It hits the net. And the Gold Diggers will get the point. We are tied at 25. Kylie Ellerton subs in for the Custer Wildcats and Haley Jankard comes in for the Gold Diggers. We are tied at 25. And Erica Hansen has the serve. And it looks like they're not going to accept the substitute. Now they're gonna sub. 
So the officials didn't have a chance to finish the substitution. It's all straightened out and we're back underway. Tied at 25. Erica Hansen gets the serve over. Custer will set one up. Micaiah Black to Sydney Percy. Returned by Delaney Matson and can Custer return it? No. The return is too short. Gold Diggers get the point. They lead it 26 to 25. And Erica Hansen will be serving for set point for the Gold Diggers. Hansen gets it over. Custer sets one up. They return it. Blocked by Matson, but out of bounds. The Wildcats get the point. We are tied 26 to 26. CeCe Percy checking into the game for the Gold Diggers. And Brooklyn Bennett checks in for the Custer Wildcats. We're tied at 26. Kayla Hanise has the serve for Custer. Off of Micaiah Black, out of bounds. Wildcats get the point to go up 27 to 26. And Hanise will be serving for match point. The serve by Hanise goes inbounds. Lands for a point. Final score, the Custer Wildcats 28 and the lead Deadwood Gold Diggers 26 in the third set. Custer sweeps it in three straight sets. And that'll be it. That's the final home game of the season for the lead Deadwood Gold Diggers. And we're out.